Hi friends, welcome to WebCamp. In this video, I am going to discuss what is a DAX query in Power BI. Okay, so if you download the latest Power BI, that's the latest version from the April twenty twenty four. So there is a one new view added earlier. There was a report view, table view, and then model view was there. Now there is a DAX query view. So we have to understand this. What does this, and how this works how we can use this to write the effective DAX formulas to analyze our DAX formulas right so here by default there is one statement based on your data set okay any uh, table name it has picked and it is just going to show us the top and number of values so here you can change the name of table and just say run so this is how you can run the statement we will see the way we write the dax here we can write the dax here also to test our dax and see how it behaves and what is the performance of the dax right so dax query it's very similar to the sql query the way we extract the data from database using SQL query. Similarly, we can extract the data from model Power BI model using DAX query. Okay, that's why I compared this with the SQL queries. So DAX formulas, obviously we define to perform the different types of calculations on the data and DAX queries can be used to return the data from the model. There are two main statements in DAX query. First one is evaluate. We saw evaluate. Okay, so if you want to add the queries, you can click the way we add the report pages here. You can click on the plus icon and then query uh, will be added here. Okay, so evaluate you will use to evaluate your DAX statement right so what i want to do is let's say i want to add the column so i will use add column here or any table expression you can use in the evaluate to return the table or to if you want to see the result of major also then you then also you need to use the table expression only to see the result so here if I say, I would like to summarize the sales data by country, right? So what I can do, I can simply say, summarize, okay? And what will be the table name? So obviously I'm going to summarize the table that is called fact sales. And uh, here I'm going to use the related column, obviously, that is called uh, country, deemed territory country, and uh, the name of new column that I'm going to derive is sales, sales total. Okay, this is my new column name. And here I'll write the function to perform the calculation. So sum of sales amount this is my table right if i execute this you will see the results here right so this is the uh, evaluate statement here you are supposed to write the table expressions only right see so if i over the mouse on the any function that you used you will see the definition you will see the syntax for it next is define statement okay this is the optional statement you do not need to use even here also you can see that i have not defined anything but what what is the purpose of this define statement what you can do so let's say if you want to define the majors if you want to define the majors you can use the define statement to define the majors how to define the major okay so what I will do is here again, I will add 
define statement. So let me say define. And uh, on next line, I will say, I would like to define the major. Then how to define the major? First, you need to say the table name. Okay, so I'll say dim territory. Okay, so this is directly not going to work. So you are supposed to use this table like this. Okay, or instead of this, I, I would like to define the major in this. Okay, fine. So inside a fat cells table, I'm going to define major. Now you can write the name is, I'll say sales total. Okay. And here is equal. To, so this is my major definition. So if you write the only name of major, it is not going to work. Square bracket, you are supposed to use. This is the standard syntax. Okay, even uh, here, I would like to say sum of sales amount column. Right. Now here you can see that there is a one option or the another uh, button is pop up that uh, update model with the changes. So here in update model, if your major is already defined, it will be override. If you want to update so obviously here you can test your dax code and uh, how it behaves and how it performs so if you want to create this major inside the model so obviously you can click on this button or you can click on this it will add new major okay so i'll say yes so again it will ask me to update model so so far here you can see that sales total here, I don't have any major in this table. So now if I add here, so the major got added, right? So this is how a defined from the defined statement. Let's say you may want to make the some changes. You may want to apply the filters. And uh, uh, if you use the calculator function and all, and then it will be a little bit different statement. So like calculate, I'm just adding the filter on this and related function I can, so related to column I can use because all these tables are in a relationship. So I would like to take the sum of sales for the country is equals to United States. Okay. This is my major definition. Now here option is overwrite major. So you can update the model with the changes. So this will go and modify the existing major so if i click on this major okay so this major is used here okay so that is that is fine so what i did is i just modified okay if i write like i would like to modify it i will say override the major the major will be changed right okay so now if i would like to use this major here i can use this major Okay. And result will be shown to you for sales total. Okay, for the country is equal to United States. And now if I evaluate, or if I run this, so you are getting the sum of total sales for the United States only, right? Because we apply the filter here. This is how it works, right? So define statement is used to define the uh, majors where okay, this is not mandatory to define the majors you can directly use the table expressions in the ULIT and then directly add the calculation but if you want to define the majors obviously you can define using this so now the way I have written the query is not appropriate way so if I would like to format the query so if just select this okay it is not I think don't need to select Okay, I will say format query. Okay, whatever the query you have wrote in the tax query view will be formatted automatically. Intended indentation will be added to this to look it better, uh, to make it more readable. Okay, then 
नेक्स्ट इज कमेंट एंड अनकमेंट लेट से यू मे वॉन्ट्स टू और यू मे नॉट वॉन्ट्स टू यूज दी दिस्क condition right so what i can do is i can comment out that okay i simply comment out this line and remove the comma and if i run this okay it, it says uh, evaluate statement require an eval okay dax query requires an evaluate statement obviously it is there evaluate is there okay I must have selected the entire. I think I selected only a top part. Fine. So this is working properly. You can comment the line of codes which you don't want, or you can simply uncomment it, and then again you alert the your DAX query expression. So this is showing me the sum of our United States only. Right. The next is find option. So obviously inside here you have find option. So if you want to find something in your formula, so here the formula is uh, small, so we can very easily uh, see. But in case uh, if you are using let's say thirty forty columns, or your uh, formula is like uh, more than hundred rows, hundred lines. So in that case, uh, what you can do is you can use find button to find something. And uh, if you go and if you search here that uh, united states okay so it will get, it will be populated right then if you want to replace so you can replace this so i will say united states is equal to instead of united states i would like to use the canada okay i'm just going to replace this so replace this one is fine and uh, if i run this now the expression has changed some for the canada country because I change the condition directly. Right. There is a command palette. Okay, so command palette you can uh, use, but few commands are so far not working. So if I select this, so there are uh, commands. Okay, commands are not properly visible here. Okay, let me move down. Okay. <laughs> so here you can see that add, add cursor above, and uh, this is just a command cancel query. So these are the shortcuts control plus you have to change all occurrences and uh, lots of uh, commands are there if you want to use undo redo operations you can use here so undo control plus u redo so there is no shortcut for this so like this you can use these commands to perform or to do a specific activity Then obviously we already saw how we run this. Okay, so if I click on this run button, so this is getting evaluated in a fraction of seconds. So you will not be able to see the cancel option at all. But yes, there is a if the, if you are this DAX expression takes a larger time. In that case, it will here you will see the cancel button. Okay, so instead of run, you will see the cancel button. So you can cancel the current execution of this. DAX. If you want to view the major formula, so here I use the major. Okay. And uh, let's say, okay, uh, what I will do, I will uh, just consider that we are not using the defined statement. Our major is already defined and we are directly using that major here. I would like to see the formula. Okay. So here, if you over the mouse on the uh, major name, you will be able to see what kind of application, what kind of conditions are used in the major very easily. So this preview is provided. Now, obviously we saw how we can update. So there are two ways. Okay, let me do a control Z. And uh, if I see here as a United States, okay. So I made changes to the, my major and uh, there are two ways by using code lines I mean the update model override major by clicking on this text you will be able to update or by simply clicking on this update model with the changes so both will do the same but uh, the lines here in inside the define statement you you see that is called code lens otherwise the button we can use 
to update this. So what is the update workflow? Okay. So how to update the major? And uh, what I did is I defined a major, right? I defined a major. Now let's remove every. I you you know that I already have defined the major, and if I wants to see whatever the number of majors you have created inside this model, if you wants to bring here inside the defined statement, okay, so what you can do, you can simply say, uh, go to the data tab then uh, click on the three these three dots then go to the quick queries and here it, it shows show top 100 rows i don't want to do this show column statistics i, I don't need this define all measures in this table okay or define all measures in this model if you select this whatever the number of measures you have created in this table will be defined here automatically and to see the result of it UL statement will be used. So obviously for each. So I, so far I have only one uh, major. So now what I will do is I will uh, create another major. Okay. So I'll say major and uh, okay. Total sales. Total. Bikes category. Sales for bikes. Okay, this is what the my new major name. And uh, obviously I will uh, perform the same, but here I will apply the different filter, not country is equal to. Here I will use the product category is equal to. So the product category is equal to bikes. Okay, this is what my new major. Okay, so I would like to add new major. Okay, I have added here. Right, this major got created in my table. Okay, and now again, I will remove everything. I'll go to the table back and go to the quick queries and select define all measures in this table. Okay, so here you can see that Two columns are created for each major. So obviously here the result you, if you want to see the result of major also, you are supposed to use the table expression. Then, then only you will be able to see. Okay. So result one of one, we will see what, what does this mean and uh, how we can see the multiple results in single DAX query. So from data model, if you go and uh, evaluate if you go and evaluate okay so this evaluation they have done on the major so if you don't want to define all the measures if you want to define evaluate only single measures what you can do is go to that specific major click on that and then go to the quick queries and then see evaluate okay so that specific major will be evaluated now Now quick queries, obviously we saw how to use the quick queries. So what we can do is with the help of quick queries, we will see once again. So if I go to the table, go to the quick table, quick query. So it, it can define the a statement directly to show you the preview of table uh, using 100 rows, top n number of rows. Then uh, column statistics, okay. Uh, so this is pretty much easy. Right, this is my query and uh, this has defined top n for all this. Okay. Next is if I want to see the column statistics. Okay. If I select, it will create a new query. Okay. Whenever you go go and uh, select the new query. So what what is the column statistics? What does it mean? Okay. So here you can see that. What is the minimum value, maximum value for this? So what is the table name? What is the column name? Count of values. How many uh, values are there? Okay, how many distinct values are there? What, how many null values are there? What is the minimum value from that column? What is the maximum value from that column? What is the mean, median, standard deviation, zeros, 
events, odds, right? everything uh, that basic information or statistical information I can say related to your data, you will get in a fraction of a second in that square. So this is a pretty much beautiful to analyze, to prepare your data. Right. So next is tables we saw, obviously, uh, if we go to the quick queries and if we select show top n, so show top n is here, so it returns us a table, right? Then column statistics, we just saw how we can see the column statistics. And uh, next is the result greed in query. Okay. So I was about to talk on this. Okay. So if you have multiple evaluation statements, okay. So here, if I go to the another major and let me say quick queries and then we evaluate. Okay. So now this is evaluating for this um, bike. Okay. It has created a new query. Then I'll say sales total. Okay. This is my new column. Ah, in fact, sales obviously sales total. This is what the measure I'm going to use. So in the same query, what I have is I have more than one evaluate statement. Like okay. if I evaluate two statements, so two result will be created. You can see first one is showing for the first major sales for the bike. Second one is showing for the sales total. Right. So this is how the result grid in query view box so you can define the multiple eval statements and see the results of different eval statements in a single view right then there is something called getting visuals visual tax query meaning when we create a visual okay what let me I remove this okay multiple queries i have created if i come back here and i would like to know okay obviously See here, I created a visual that means somewhere in the back end, the calculation has happened. So what kind of DAX has been used to create this visual if I want to see how I can see, right? So if I go to this, okay, so here you can see uh, in the optimize, you are supposed to go to the optimize, then select the performance analyzer and then start recording and then refresh the visual. Okay, this is refreshing for all. And then count of order keys, date by year, okay. So this is my visual. I would like to see the what query has, DAX query has been used to perform the calculation in this view. So you, there is a plus button, okay, if you click on this, is showing for all the visuals, okay. So if I say run index query, this will be copied here and you can see that this is what the DAX query automatically got created while building that result. So we will use the simply drag and drop feature, but what is happening back in backend, you will be able to see here. Right. So all these are sorted in this order and uh, it has uh, defined the row, row function used. Okay. Before that, this is what used. So th there is lots of formulas used. Okay. When we uh, see the majors for the, for we, we, when we view the query for the view. So this is the calculation happened. Okay. So now here I have a cards. Okay. Let's go and see the card count of order key date. Okay. So here, if I go to the count of order key date by year and month, that this is what different count of order key date. Okay. This is multi row card. Okay. So here if I select this, okay. So for to count, to take the count of order key dates, what query is used? So this query is used. So you can see that it has 
used summarize column, you can calculate count a factor. Okay, so this query, so you are able to view the DAX used in visual calculation in the DAX query view, right? Then what is the consideration? So uh, this is again, under the development, so 500 lines in DAX query editor has a noticeable lag when typing. So if your result uh, is returning a more than, I mean, large data set, if you're trying, it will take a uh, time. Then uh, light bulb action uh, for the major only display when uh, no defined statement is in the query tab. Okay. So, So where I'm using the major. Okay, so kind of yellow bulb it will show. Okay, this is all these are blank. Okay, this should show me the here you will see a uh, yellow bulb to define this major. Not sure why this is not showing me. At this because I don't have defined statement in this query, but still it is not showing. I did it should show. Okay. Then next limitations is command palette shows uh, some commands, but that do not add buff. Even result grid doesn't it shows column and major with the specific format, meaning uh, it is not showing the results in the uh, format, like number formatting, like currency, whole number, and uh, with thousands and also none of the formatting it is using so far. Let's say you create, okay, obviously you are able to use the DAX query view in the web also on the Power BI service also, but if you download this file from the Power BI service, so all your queries saved on the web, will not be downloaded. Okay. And uh, you'll find this is not uh, really helpful. So setting up the Git uh, integration from the workspace will not uh, include the DAX queries saved in a public uh, semantic model. Okay. Then uh, this is again limitations. Okay. And yes. So what kind of limitations are there? Limitations in the query view. So maximum 15 MB of data per query you can use. Once 15 MB is exceeded, your current row completes, but no additional rows are returned, meaning you will not be able to see if the data size is more than 15, 15 MB. Until 15 MB, it will show the data. More than that, it will not show the data. Okay, maximum one, lack values per query, you can see, meaning if your query has 20 columns, you can get back maximum 50 rows. Okay. So this is the limitations. So 50,000 rows, not more than 50,000 because 50,000 into, okay, not one lakh. this is 1 million. So 1 million divided by 20 comes as a 50,000. Okay. So define all measures in this table. And model is unavailable when there are more than 500 measures. So if your data, uh, if your model has more than 500 measures, then you cannot define, you cannot use all measures in the, define all measures in this table or model. So this is the limitation. Then uh, obviously so few more limitations of like uh, maximum of one lakh rows are returned per query in the wave. Okay. On power BS service, if you are using query view, so you can return this many number of rows, which is almost double in the power BI desktop capacity. Okay. So write permission on the semantic model viewers with the build permission can use power BI desktop to live connect and use the DAX query view to run the DAX queries viewers even uh, with build permission you can use the power bi desktop okay to connect with the data and then you can they can use the dax query view to run the dax queries okay this is only available for the non default semantic models so you can use power bi desktop to live connect to the semantic model and then use dax query 
view to run. Then uh, user can edit the data model in the Power BI service preview workspace setting needs to be enabled, obviously. So you can use this text query in the Power BI service also, but uh, workspace setting needs to be enabled. Then and then only you will be able to, until and unless the setting for the workspace is enabled, you will not be able to use the text query in Power BI service. So Power BI service meaning if you go to the apps dot Power BI here. Okay, there might be a setting you need to find for the workspace. Okay, so this is a workspace. And if I go to the workspace setting, so here you need to find that option uh, to preview get integration, not not this query view, not sure okay, from where it is coming and uh, in which setting it is there. Okay. So this is how, uh, what you can do is you can use the DAX queries in Power BI. I hope you like the content of this video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do not forget to subscribe WebChamp and learn the upcoming updates in the Power BI. Have a nice day.